हरि ओम मै डियर स्टूडें ई थिंक यू ऑल आर सेफ अट यू होम अवॉइड गोइंग क्रउड प्लेस वेन यू गो ऊट डोट फॉर गेट टू वेर मास्क Now I am here to explain the second part of the poem, geography lesson. Geography lesson written by Zulfikar Ghosh, an American poet, novelist, and essayist. Through this poem, he is trying to take up, talk about how earth looks from different altitudes. Yesterday we have learned the first stanza. In the first stanza. then we from the first stanza we understood that the poet was stand, uh, sitting in a jeep jet and he was moving upwards then while he was moving upwards he understood that everything was or everything on the earth was arranged in a proper manner but while he was standing on the uh, standing on the ground during that time he felt everything was arranged in a half a set manner listen to the second stanza when the jet reached 10000 feet it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran and why the valleys were populated the logic of geography the land and water attracted man was clearly delineated when the jet reached on 10000 feet listen once more when the jet reached 10000 feet it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran and why the valleys were populated the logic of geography that land and water attracted man was clearly delineated when the jet reached 10000 feet then what do you mean by delineated delineated here means shore delineated means shore listen let's see line by line when the jet reached 10000 feet when the jet and the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet what do you mean by feet a feet means a unit of measurement that means equal to 12 inches here feet means equal to 12 inches 1 inch means 3 cm that yesterday we have seen listen when the jet reached 10000 feet it was clear why the country had cities where the rivers ran that means when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet then it became clear to him why the cities in every country are situated on the river bank listen what he understood why the cities in every country are situated on the river bank listen once more why the cities in every country are situated on the river banks that he understood and why the valleys were populated and why Why, and he also understood why the people live chiefly in valleys why most of the people uh, like to live in valleys he understood these things and why the valleys were populated the logic of geography that means when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet he looked below and realized the logic of geography when he when the jet when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet he realized the logic of geography what are the things he understood then he understood why the cities in every country are situated on the river bank why the people why most of the people lived in valleys why land and water attracted man why land and water attracted man then land and water are essential for human beings and land and water are the primary needs of life then so these are the things he understood when the when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet listen once more the logic of geography that land and water attracted man was clearly shown clearly understood when the jet reached on 10000 feet listen once more when the aeroplane when the jet flew at a height of 10000 feet then he realized the logic of geography then what are the things he understood why the cities in every country are situated on the river bank what is the first thing why the cities in every country are situated on the river bank 
second one why the people live chiefly in valleys why most of the people like to live in valleys then why land and water attracted man because they are the pri primary needs for life these are the three, three things he understood when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet listen once more when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet he understood why the cities in every country are situated on the river bank second one why the people live chiefly in valleys third one why land and water attracted man these are the uh, important things he understood while he was moving upward while when the jet flew at a height of 10000 feet listen from this stanza what we learned when the jet flew at a height of 10000 feet he realized the geography uh, logic of geography what are the things why the cities in every country are situated on the river bank why the people live chiefly in valleys then why the land and water attracted man? These are the things he understood while the jet flew at a height of 10,000 feet. When the jet rose 6 miles high, it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land. Listen, when the jet rose 6 miles high, again when the aeroplane flew at a height of 6 miles high, 6 miles, yesterday we have seen 1 mile equal to 1.5 kilometer. Here 6 miles, 6 mile means 9 kilometer. When the jet rose 6 miles high, it was clear the earth was round. When the aeroplane flew at a height of 6 miles, then he understood the earth was round and that it had, the earth had more sea than land. When the jet reached 6 miles high, when the aeroplane flew at a height of 6 miles, he understood the earth, uh, earth was round and why, why it had more sea than land. But it, is, but it was difficult to understand that the men on the earth found causes to hate each other. But he did not understand that why the people on the earth found causes to why the people on the earth hate each other. To build walls across cities and to kill from that height it was not clear why. Listen that last stanza once more. When the jet rose 6 miles high, it was clear the earth was round and that it had more sea than land. But it was difficult to understand that the men on the earth found causes to hate each other, to build walls across cities and to kill from that height. It was not clear why. Then again, when the aeroplane flew at a height of 6 miles, the poet understood why. The earth, it was clear for him the earth was round and that it had, the earth had more sea than land. But he did not understand why people on the earth hate each other, why they fight each other, why they build walls across cities, then why they kill each other. That he did not understand. That means the poet could not see the, any logic behind the division of land by Racing walls. Listen, the poet could not see why, uh, the poet could not understand any logic behind the division of land by racing lands. Listen, the last stanza, what is the meaning of the last stanza? When the jet flew at a height of six miles, the poet understood the earth is round, why the earth has more sea than land. But here, he could not understand why people hate each other, why they build walls across cities. Why they fight each other? That means he could not see any logic behind the division of land by tracing walls. Okay, understand what is the meaning of the last stanza? In the last stanza, when the poet flew at a, when the jet flew at a height of six miles, the poet understood the earth is round. It has more sea than land. Uh, it has more sea than land. Then again, he should also understand. But he could not understand why people hate each other, why they fight each other, why they kill each other. That means the poet could not see any logic behind the division of land by racing lands. Listen the last sentence. When the aeroplane flew at a height of 6 miles, the poet understood. 
uh, the earth to is round it has more sea than land but he did not understand why people on the earth hate each other why they fight each other why they kill each other that means he could not see any logic behind the division of land by raising walls listen once more let's summarize today's portion in the second stanza we have seen when the aeroplane flew at a height of 10000 feet he understood the poet understood the logic of geography then what are the things he learned then he understood why the cities in every country are situated on the river bank what is the second thing why the people live chiefly in valleys why land and water attracted man these are the things he learned while he when he reached at a height of 10000 feet again when the aeroplane flew at a height of 6 miles the poet understood the earth is round it has more sea than land but he did not understand why people on the earth fight each other why they kill each other then why but he could not see any logic behind the division of land by raising walls most of the time while you are in your classroom maybe you fight each other for silly reasons then here through this form we learned that we should not fight each other we should not fight each other then we should also protect our nature these are the things we learned from the lesson okay thank you i think all of you understand the lesson if you have any doubt you can contact me thank you all